Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you stopping by, taking the time to watch this video. Today's video topic is a request from one of the viewers of, of my YouTube channel. Um, they were watching the video where I show metallic uh, metal mesh baskets, how if you put something that emits RF radiation in it, like a cell phone or a Wi-Fi router or something, how that will block the radiation. I was measuring that with a meter. And the the viewer just commented and said, hey, could you do a video like this, but instead of using those baskets, um, use cookware like stainless steel or aluminum pots like that would go on a stove stovetop. And so I thought, sure, that'd be an interesting video. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. So let's uh, get after it. What happens if you put a cell phone into uh, some sort of a metallic pot? So let's show you. I'm going to turn on my cell phone. Right, for, right now I have this cell phone on airplane mode. So let me turn it off of airplane mode and turn on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. This is not a phone that's con that I have a phone number on, so it, it won't be making any calls. So to test it, I have to turn on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So now, just to show you that it's working. See, it's whenever this meter here turns into a one, that means it's, it's doing more than, it's pegging the meter. It's more than the meter will pick up, which is uh, this meter will read up to 2000 microwatts per square meter. So, so anyway, it keeps pegging the meter every little bit. So if we take this and we set it inside this pot like that, we have everything closed, 16 uh, microwatts per square meter. Every once in a while there, it just popped up to 206. There was 330 something. Oh, there it was almost up to 1,000, 1,500. 1,300. 1900 so almost maxed out the meter while it's in this pan so let's also test another pot here this is a little teapot there So it's picking up something. It's 200, 181, 220 something. There, it maxed out the meter while it's in this pot. So I've got the pan now. I've got it about. I don't know, three feet away, and I'm hardly picking up anything. It's at three, six, four, six, eight. So it's hardly picking up anything. If I lift up the lid, now it jumps up to 40, 75, 87. Okay, so let's talk just briefly about the results of the test we just completed. What did we learn from it? If you go back and watch uh, the other video, the one where I do a similar test um, using the metal mesh baskets, you'll see that the results in that test and this test were really similar. The only squirrely thing about it is uh, cell phones never emit the same amount of elect or of radiation. Um, you know, when because they're not always doing the same thing when they're trying to connect to Wi-Fi. They're emitting more than when they're just kind of on standby. Same with the Bluetooth. Um, same with trying to connect to GPS or making a call. So the, the output and radiation of a cell phone is always up and down. That's why to do this test, to try to make it as consistent as I could before I put the cell phone in um, each of the pots, you saw me turning off and turning back on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth um, so that they would be at their maximum as consistent as possible for each test. So what we learned from this is if you'll notice, um, like with the baskets, the closer we were to the pots, 
the more radiation was escaping and that the meter was, even though it's solid, a solid metal uh, uh, pot, and we know it's a conductive metal because they don't make pots for a cook stove out of a non-conductive metal because that's what makes the heat spread evenly. It needs to be a conductive metal if you're going to use it to cook in. But anyway, uh, still, even though it was a solid pot, the closer our meter was, the more radiation was escaping out through the cracks. Um, the further away it was, the less that it was. But being in the pot, it was significantly less at any distance than if it wasn't in the pot. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. I appreciate it. If you'd like to help spread uh, awareness on protecting yourself from EMF or RF radiation, please share this video on your, you, on your social media channels. That's the best way you can help. Um, for the Google algorithm, it helps if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you'll be notified when we do future videos. We appreciate it when you guys do all that kind of stuff. So thanks so much again for watching the video. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you in the next video.